Assalamualaikum and hello uh, Today I gonna present topic 1 introduction material sign My name is Muhammad bin Marazali My number metric is 11 DKM 20 F1 1059 My name is Muhammad Aiman bin Abrahim My metric number is 11 DKM 20 F1046 my name is Muhammad Alif Izuddin bin Muhammad Asri. Uh, my matrix number <coughs> 11 DKM 20F1032. Alright, the content is fun number one is fundamental of material sign, number two, material classification, number three, metal, number four, polymer, number five, ceramic, number six, composite. Number seven, advanced material such as material, biomaterial, semiconductor, nano engineered material, and smart material. Next, fundamental of material sign. A material is defined as a substance, most often a solid, but other condensed phase can be included. That is intended to be used for certain application. They are my my rate of material around us. They can be found in anything from building and car to spacecraft. The main classes of material are metal, semiconductors, ceramic, and polymer. New and advanced material that are being de developed include nano material bio material and energy material to name a few next <coughs> material classification there are thousands of material available for use in engineering application most material fall into one of three classes that are based on a, on the atomic bonding force of a particular material these three classification are metallic ceramic and polymer Additionally, different material can be combined to create a composite. Material within each of these classification, material are often further organized into group based on their chemical compos composition or certain phys physical or mechanical properties. Composite material are often grouped by the type of material combined or the way the material are arranged together. Below is a list of some of the commonly classification of material within this four general group of material. Okay, next. Number one is metal. A metal is a material that when freshly prepared, polished or fractured, shown a last lustrous appearance and conduct electricity and heat relatively well metal are typical malleable they can be hummed into thin sheet or ductile can be drawn into wire a metal may be a chemical element such as iron and alloy such as stainless steel or a molecule compound such as polym polymeric sulfur nitride in physics a, met a metal is gener generally regard regard as any substance capable of conducting electricity at a temperature of absolutely zero many element many element and compound that are not normally classified as a metal become metallic under high pressure for example the non metal iodine gradually become a metal at a pressure of between 40 and 170,000 times atmospheric pressure. Equally, some material regarded as metal can become non-metal. Sodium, for example, become a non-metal at pressure of just under 2 million times atmospheric pressure. Alright, next. I will give it to Aiman to continue. Okay, thank you Muhammad for the marvelous presentation of your polymers. A polymer is a substance or material consisting of very large molecules. 
or macro molecules composed of many repeating subunits. <coughs> due, due to their broad spectrum of properties, both synthetic and natural polymers play essential and ubiquitous roles in every everyday life. Polymers range from familiar synthetic plastic such as polystyrene to natural biopolymers such as DNA and proteins that are fundamental to biological structure and function. Polymers, both natural and synthetic, are created via polymerization of many small molecules, known as monomers. They are consequently large molecules mass relative to small molecule compounds, produce unique physical properties including toughness, high elasticity, viscoelasticity, and a tendency to form amorphous and semi-crystalline structures rather than crystal. Ceramic Ceramic material is an inorganic non-metallic oxide, nitride or carbide material, such as carbon or silicon, may be considered ceramic. Ceramic materials are brittle, hard, strong in compression and weak in shearing and tension. They withstand chemical erosion that occurs in other materials subjected to acidic or caustic environment. The ceramics generally can withstand very high temperatures, ranging from 1000 <coughs> degrees Celsius to 1600 degrees Celsius, or in Fahrenheit, 1800 1, Fahrenheit to 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. The crystallinity of Ceramic materials vary <coughs> widely. Most often, fired ceramics are either vitrified or semi vitrified, as is the case with earthenware, stoneware, and porcelain. Varying crystallinity and electron composition in the ionic and covalent bonds cause most ceramic materials to be good thermal and electrical insulators. Composite. Concrete is the most common artificial composite material of all and typically consists of loosest stones. Concrete is an inexpensive material and will not compress or shatter even under quite a large compressive force. However, concrete cannot survive tensile loading. <coughs> Therefore, to give concrete the ability to resist being stretched, steel bars which can resist high stretching force are often added to concrete to form reinforced concrete. Fiber reinforced polymers include carbon fiber reinforced polymer and glass reinforced plastic. If classified by matrix, then they are thermoplastic composite, short fiber thermoplastic long fiber thermoplastic or long fiber reinforced thermoplastics. There are numerous thermoset composite, including paper composite panels. Many advanced thermoset polymer metric systems usually incorporate aromatic fiber and carbon fiber in an epoxy resin matrix. Biomaterials. Biomaterials can be derived either from nature or synthesized in the laboratory using a variety of chemical approaches utilizing meta metallic components, polymer, ceramics, or composite materials. They are often used and or adapted for a medical application. And thus, comprise whole or part of a living structure or biomedical device which performs, augment, or replace a natural function. Such functions may be re relatively passive, like being used for a hard valve, or maybe bioactive with a more interactive functionality, such as hydroapatite, coated hip implants. Biomaterials are also used with every day in dental applications, surgery, and drug delivery. Alright, thank you, Aiman. So, I want to talk about semiconductor. What a semiconductor? A semiconductor material has an electrical conductivity value falling between that of a conductor, such as metallic copper and an uninsulator, such as glass. Its resistivity falls as its temperature rises. Metals behave in the opposite way. 
is conducting properties may be altered in useful ways by introducing umpetis doping into the crystal structure. When two differently doped regions exist in the same crystal, a semi conductor junction is created. The behavior of charge carriers, which include electrons, ions, and electron holes. At this junction is the basic of diodes, transistor, and most modern electronic. Some examples of semiconductors are silicon, germanium, gallium arsenide, and elements near the so called metalloid stachys on the period tables. Next, nano engineered materials. What a nano engineered materials? Nano engineering is the practice of engineering on the nano scale. It derives its name from the nanometers, nanometers a unit of measurements equaling 1 billion, billion of a meter. Nano engineering is largely a synonym for nanotechnology but emphasize the engineering rather than the bioscience aspect of the field. Next, smart material. Smart materials, also called intelligent or responsive materials, uh, are designed materials that have one or more properties that can be significantly change in a controlled fashion by external stimuli such as stress, moisture, electric or magnetic fields, like temperature, pH or chemical compounds. Smart materials are the basic of many applications including sensors and actuators or artificial muscle particularly as electroactive polymers. Terms used to describe smart materials include shape memory materials and shape memory technology. Thanks. Uh, that's all from us. Thank you for watching. Thank you, sir. Thank you.